In the early summer of 1964, Enterprise, Long Beach, and Bainbridge were deployed with orders to carry out Operation Sea Orbit. Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we have another one here from Hobby Master, of course, from the 172 Air Power Series, which is 172nd scale Diecast, of course. We have a Douglas A1H Sky Raider, and this particular one was uh, aboard the USS Enterprise during Operation Sea Orbit. Uh, Operation Sea Orbit was conducted in uh, 1964 and was a around the world cruise from uh, Task Force One, the United States Navy Task Force One, consisting of the USS Enterprise, the USS Long Beach, and the USS Bainbridge. And these were all nuclear powered uh, US sea vessels. And they would travel over 30,000 miles without uh, refueling over the 65 days that it took to circumnavigate around the globe, and uh, aboard the USS Enterprise was the Naval Attack Squadron VA-65, the world-famous Fighting Tigers, they were called, uh, which were originally formed in 1945 as a Torpedo Squadron, uh, I think Torpedo Squadron 74, I think it was, and uh, VA-65 would finally be dissolved in 1993 and was one of the last attack squadrons to fly the A-6 Intruder and the A-1 Sky Raider like this, so we'll open up the little box and uh, have a little look inside, and as you can see, it does come up really... They are quite a large aircraft for, for what they are, and um, we, we've reviewed a Sky Raider before, so uh, you know a fair bit about it, if you have seen that uh, particular review that I did. So it, it is the usual Hobby Master deal, it has the uh, details of the aircraft in the flap there, and uh, as we say, it's no good in the box. We will uh, get this Sky Raider out of the box and have a real good look at it. And here we are out of the box. Um, it does come with that normal Hobby Master stand that you need to assemble. This is all uh, plastic and it comes with the ordnance packet that does obviously have the ordnance. A little baggie that has the little ordnance and some uh, landing gear in it. If you want to have it, the gear down option and you know us by now, we will be doing it that. And let's get this uh, get this lid off and have a real look at it. Uh, I hate popping these out. These are really oops, a pain. I think I've popped too much. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, made this packet holy again. I think this, this is like the second one in a row. I've put my finger through the plastic. I'll move this out of the way. And we'll have a good look at this Sky Raider. What do you reckon? <laughs> All right, let's have a little look. We'll, we'll, the, uh, the actual, as per usual, Hobby Master, the paint application is really nice. Obviously, it is in the uh, Navy paint scheme here. And it does, the panel line's beautiful. Look at that. That looks really nice. Actually, we'll have a look at the cockpit first. It is in perfect condition. <laughs> um, the first Sky Raider we did, it had a lot of um, fogging on that glass, on the canopy, and that was a brand new one as well. And um, yeah, at least this one is in great condition. It doesn't have that issue. The tail markings are actually quite nice. That looks really nice. This is another pretty cool one. I like it. And I mean, we are looking at this for the first time together. I just popped it brand new out of the box. I, as I said, I think I got paid 145 off a seller on eBay, but it was brand new, never opened. Um, he just never got around to opening it. We'll run down this uh, side of the fuselage for you and have a little look at those details. It looks really nice. Come to the front, and it's got some great prop detail, which uh, spins beautifully. <laughs> it's got some great gun detail there, and they're all in. So you must be very careful when opening the packet that you don't bend these, because obviously these will be very easy to uh, bend. <laughs> we will flip it over and have a little look underneath, and uh, as you can see, there is plenty of stores to go on. The uh, ordnance that these things do carry when they're in the attack configuration is phenomenal. Um, I think <laughs> these things fully laid and they, uh, they are fantastic. But uh, obviously the uh, landing gear and everything drops in there. Um, obviously the stand will go there as well. But uh, oh, well, while we've got it turned over, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll kit this uh, Sky Raider out and have a come back and have a real good look at it all kitted out. What I'll do is I'll quickly show you the ordnance. It does come with these two large bombs. It also comes with... Six of these ordnance as well, uh, which go under the wing, three on each side, obviously. And it also does come with four of these uh, pods as well, which you uh, put under the wing. Obviously, two on each side if you're going to use them. It also comes with these uh, 
underwing fuel tanks as well. It also comes with this central fuel tank that goes underneath the fuselage, obviously, and uh, you will have to probably leave this off if you do put it on the stand. And uh, it also comes with a little pilot in a baggie as well if you want to use the pilot. And of course, if you plan on having it um, wheels up, it's only those three pieces, of course. <laughs> all right, let's get this thing out. So here we have it all kitted out. <laughs> that was, um, yeah, that was kind of sort of fun. Uh, if you don't want to use these here, you can uh, resort to using your bombs that are supplied. Otherwise, they go in your spare, spares box if you don't use them. And uh, I'll tell you what, this was a little bit fiddly to, um, to put together uh, because of the spacing between the ordnance there. It is quite, so if you've got fat ass fingers like myself, you may have a little bit of an issue trying to get them on because the paint is quite thick, so you've got to put a little bit of pressure on once you're getting these uh, put in for the first time, especially if it's a brand new uh, model that you're buying, and that's the only thing. Um, no, these are not in backwards. They, they These drop uh, bomblets out and everything like that, so uh, it is not a rocket pod that's facing the wrong way. Um, everything else went um, in properly uh, without a drama, uh, the tanks and everything like that, they, they all uh, drop in nicely. The, the wheels actually do do roll, so as you can see, they do rotate and uh, come up. <laughs> Look, this thing is, an is another um, well-loaded aircraft from that uh, period. Um, this, this actual aircraft itself would actually be shot down in 1968 over Laos. And um, it would be taken down by small arms fire. And we'll just, uh, we'll just flip it over. I've opened the cockpit a little bit so uh, you can sort of have a little look inside first. It is kind of hard to see that detail, but the cockpit does open. And uh, as I said, it does come with a um, pilot figure that you can uh, put in there if you want to do that. And this does, it's another cool looking Skyraider. These these do kit out really well. And uh, if you're full of hot air like myself, you can just do this. <laughs> And the propeller does spin really easy. And I, I reckon this is another cool Sky Raider for sure. And I reckon you'll be definitely happy if you uh, grab one of these. These Hobby Master Sky Raiders are made really well. Um, I, I think this is another nice one as well. And uh, you'll definitely, yeah, enjoy it if you do get your hands on one. So I'll uh, put this Sky Raider on the deck right now. It is, as I said, it's, it's not a, a small aircraft. It is reasonably sized. We'll zoom in a fraction for you. I reckon it's a pretty tough looking unit for sure. If you can get your hands on one of these, I reckon you'll definitely enjoy it. Um, so once again, this is a Hobbymaster 172nd scale diecast Douglas A1H Skyraider from the US Navy um, that was aboard the USS Enterprise during uh, Operation Sea Orbit. It is from VA-65 and uh, I reckon it is a uh, pretty, pretty cool looking unit for sure and you'll definitely enjoy getting one of these if you can get your hands on one. And if you do, uh, you know, like the video at all, hey, throw us a little bit of a like, that'd be awesome. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, feel free to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending your valuable time watching the video. I do appreciate it. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.